Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and we just got this in from RunCam. This is the new RunCam Micro Swift 2 and the TX25 Tiny Little 5.8 Transmit. Here I have the original Micro RunCam Swift just for comparison. Okay, so let's just take a look at the specs on the camera. So I got the NTC version of the Micro Swift 2. It's 5 to 36 volts. It's IR blocked and has a 2.1 millimeter lens and I think that's about 160 degree angle, viewing angle. And looking at the transmitter which comes with it, it has a 1S type voltage range of 3.5 to 5.5 volts and it's 5.8 gigahertz, 48 channels. So we're going to take a look at these both right now, so stay tuned. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So there's some great improvements over the original Micro Swift. One is the six camera display presets for different lighting conditions. So you can have light tracks, outdoor, indoor, cloudy, and twilight, and also a personal setting that you can customize. Okay, another improvement is the menu controls. So with a button, you can long press up three seconds to access the OSD settings. You can long press left for three seconds to calibrate the voltage on your OSD screen. You can long press down from 10 seconds to reset all of the settings to default, or you can long press right for 3 seconds to switch between the camera presets. Another improvement is the warning for low voltage. So when you're looking at your OSD display, the voltage display will go from white to purple and then flash if the voltage is below the setting that you set. And then finally, of course, there is the transmitter board that's stackable on the camera to give you a little tiny whoop type camera. Here it is, tiny whooping style on top of the Champ S Plus. So stay tuned, we're going to take it out for a little flight here in a little bit. The Micro Swift 2 on the right is almost the same as the Micro Swift original on the left, except you can see the connector's a little different. That's because there's an extra voltage sense on the second version. So as far as the lens goes, it's the same, it's that 2.1 and the front of the camera looks pretty much identical. You have your typical joystick controller for the menus. I didn't get a bracket with my original RunCam Swift, but this one does come with a bracket, so that's kind of nice. And there are a few little screws for mounting your bracket onto the camera. And then finally we have the wiring harness, so one end plugs into the camera, as you can see here. And then there's one that plugs into the menu control board. And then there's one here which can plug to the TX25 to transmit your video. So that has power ground and video on it. And then this is the voltage sense wire which can be soldered onto your main voltage if you want to measure that on screen rather than the voltage coming from this wire. Now inside the box you have some standoffs here to mount the transmitter on the back of the camera and some screws to lock it down. So what you do is you take these two screws out on the camera and screw in the two standoffs and then put the little transmitter board on top and put the two screws in. So it kind of fits like this once you get the standoffs on there. It'll be on the back of it just like that. So this one connector plugs into the wiring harness for the camera like that and there's the other end where it goes to the camera to supply voltage ground video goes in there and the other wire is where you would put in your either your one cell battery could go in there or it might go to a regulator a 5 volt regulator. So I have the RunCam Swift Micro Swift 2 on a little board here this hot melted on and I've got about 13 grams. I'm going to mount this on my Champ S Plus and fly it around here in a minute. Here is my other camera and it's an all-in-one camera and it weighs about 7 grams. So the Micro Swift weighs a little more than the typical all-in-one cameras that are on the market but it still only weighs about 13 grams which is still very very light. So here it is mounted on the Champ S Plus and you can see I have it plugged right on there but keep in mind you do need a little 5 volt regulator I have one inside the Champ 
to regulate the two cell voltage down to just five volts. Okay, got the champ ready to roll. It's all turned on, bound to the radio, camera's going. I got video on the goggles, which I don't know if you can see me, but I got the goggles right there. Diversity receiver, Furious, True D, two antennas, ready to roll. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, there it is. So that was a great flight. I was looking through the goggles at least half the time and the picture looked great. I could really see where I was going, no problems at all. So this little camera looks just as good as the larger Swifts. Even though the lens is really small, I'm really liking it. So I think this is gonna be a good or viable option for small planes and quads. Looking forward to using it some more. At this time, this is the price for the Micro Swift 2, and the lens is selectable between 2.1 and 2.3, and you can have NTSC or PAL. This is the price for the Runcam TX25 video transmitter, and they both have free shipping, as you can see at this time.